चैप्टर टू संख्या योगा कृष्णा एड्रेसेस एंड देन धृतराष्ट्र आस्ट एंशियसली कृष्णा रीजन्स विद अर्जुन दिस कृष्णा धृतराष्ट्र चूड अप द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ड्स संजय स्पोक कृष्णा हैज एडवाइज्ड अर्जुन नॉट टू फॉल टू इनफैचुएशन एट सच एन आवर because it was not befitting of noble characters no paradise earner or glory garner he asked arjun not to act like an impotent it was time he got ready to battle giving up all mean weaknesses of heart and banishing cowardice it was not worthy of a valiant man like him Oh so what does arjun say dhritrashtra asked arjun surrenders the advice of krishna did not enthuse arjun he sat down at the feet of krishna and spoke with folded hands and tears in his eyes lord i will prefer to beg and live on alms then die royally by killing the honorable elders like grand man bhishma or guru drona what is life after causing the death of dear ones i give up my own nature and ask you to tell me what is proper for me i am your disciple and depend on you reveal to me the right way to end my anguish Krishna said with a smile Arjun you sorrow for ones who need no sorrowing you don't talk like a brave one those who are already dead and who are still living the wise ones don't grieve for them the state of soul those who exist today they existed yesterday and shall exist tomorrow the soul lives in the body through childhood adulthood and old age in one state wise ones do not bother over it and don't get infatuated dhritrashtra muttered arjun is saying correct thing but this krishna is hell bent on making brothers fight Krishna said to Arjun Parth soul is imperishable whereas the body is mortal soul does not kill anyone and no one can kill it it sheds old body and gets into a new one like we take off old clothes and wear new ones the soul cannot be cut by any weapon or burnt in fire or dissolved in water or dried up by the wind your grieving for it is not proper one that is born must die and then get reborn so why do you sorrow for it for a soldier dying for his cause is his primary duty and the proper act secret of life and death krishna revealed the secret of life and death to arjun saying the existence or birth is when one becomes visible from the invisible when visible becomes invisible it is death thus birth does not mean a non-existent thing coming into existence falsehood is never born and truth never dies understand the secret and do your duty if you don't fight in this battle you will lose your glory and dutifulness to become a sinner of dereliction your enemies will belittle your capabilities so 
O Parth, you must battle without consideration of victory or defeat, pros or cons, and joy or sorrow. Such battle won't earn you any sin. Janan Yoga and Karma Yoga Arjun still was doubtful. Krishna raised him up by holding up his arms and said, Parth, yoga is attaining the unattainable. Protecting the attained is karma. The wisdom which perceives it is Janan Yoga. This wisdom is helpful in cutting off the binds of Karma Yoga. The perception of this wisdom enables a man to understand the Dharma of Karma Yoga. The fear of birth and death gets banished from the mind. An ignorant man fails to understand Karma. You just get the point that doing Karma is your right and not in seeking or wishing for the rewards. The rational wisdom inspires one to do or not do something. O Arjun, banish the infatuations of body and thoughts of success or failure. Put your mind in karma duty and have equanimity. Equanimous yoga gains one proficiency in doing karma. The rational actions lead one to a level where one is in permanent touch of God. Do not worry about what people say and battle with a steady mind. That is your karma yoga. Who is steady mind? Upon this, Arjun asked, O Keshav, what is steady-minded person's sign? How does he moderate his acts? With a smile, Krishna said, O Arjun, a person who gives up all his desires and becomes content in his own self, he is the steady mind. One who is in control of the fears, anger, infatuation and enmities, he is the steady mind. One who is happy in both favorable and unfavorable situations, he is the steady mind. Just as a turtle can withdraw all his body parts into its shell, similarly, a steady mind exercises control over his senses because he knows that given freedom they will fall for temptations. Temptation breeds desire. Unfulfillment of desires provoke angst. Angst dulls up the mind and a person is beset with confusions. A confused person's mind gets destroyed and his downfall is ensured. Such a fallen person loses all his joys and he gets drowned in sorrows. So, O Arjun, give up all desires and battle without any self-conceit. That is your dharma and call of the current karma. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.